Welcome back, friends. I'm Susan Clifton. I'm here in my Baca studio, and today we're going to play with stencils again, and this time we're going to do it on a jelly plate. Um, I created a new stencil, and um, sort of like a, a positive stencil instead of a negative one, and today I want to uh, see what happens when I put it on a jelly plate with some paint and transfer it. Um, so I created this design in Procreate, and um, I'll give you a sneak peek at that as well. So stay tuned. So I'm not very expert at Procreate. Um, I've only had it for like, I don't know, maybe six months and I very seldom have time to play with it. But um, I decided to play one day with just black and white and to see what kind of um, organic sort of design that I can come up with, with a simple, one simple brush and just playing with design. And so this is what I came up with. And then I brought it into Illustrator and traced it so that I could make an SVG. So since I have a small Cricut Joy and it only has um, four and a half inches across, um, I got a mat that's 12 inches long. I copied this in Illustrator, rotated it and connected it and made my SVG for, for my Cricut. Um, a long skinny so this fits like within that four and a half and 12 inches four and a half inches by 12 inches so this is what we're going to play with today okay so I'm using a jelly plate and let's try to get it nice and sent, nice and in the frame for you um, and we're probably just going to use the center part of this because that's about you know what where my stencil is if you can see that all right so I'm going to use some golden open acrylics because um, I've heard that they work best for this so I'm going to put the yellow on first I guess I didn't put enough. Last time I used too much. Okay, a little bit more. I'm going to add, I think, a little bit of this phthalo green shade, or blue shade, phthalo green blue shade, and we're going to mix them together a little bit. And I'm going to switch to my smaller brayer. And I like the uh, variegated look that we're getting here, too. going to lay this down on the stencil, I mean on the jelly. And I have some like old sheets from a book on positive thoughts that I'm going to use. with that so now if we lift this up we can also I also love that I like the little when you when you do the ghost print you get this little outline 
from the stencil. I love that effect. Now we're gonna, that green sheet that we just did, it's not dry, so let's see what happens. I seem to like the ghost prints more than I do the regular prints, but maybe this one would have been good if I hadn't colored the paper first, or maybe I needed more contrast. So because this is open paint, some of the blue that was still on my stencil came through on this one. That's kind of interesting. And still this yellow mixed with a little bit of the blue, we've got some yellow peeking through and then it, the blue and the yellow turned to green. So I, kind of interesting. All right, let's clean, the, clean all this up again. All right, I'm switching to my favorite um, deep violet from Liquitex. Really love this paint, this particular color anyway. Now this is not an open paint. This is more of a fast drying paint. And we are going to try. <clears throat> Oops. Okay, let me try this one. Not as successful. I think that the um, stencil is too close together. I mean, it's an interesting effect, but um, I don't know, not that great. But I bet you the ghost print is gonna be better. A little more detail. So I've switched to plain um, white paper for now. I'm going to try my other stencil that I made last week. And this was one that I made. They, I made all of these on Cricut, Cricut Joy. That's why they're so small. Very nice. I think I want to try that on the book paper. Oh. This is the ghost print. Ooh. Ooh. And it's even picking up a little bit of that other. Um, that other stencil, this stencil, here up at the top. Love it. Okay. 
I do love this color. So let's put some more and let's see if we can get some more variation because we still, I can still see the indent of that stencil on there. So when I lay this down, possibly in the opposite direction, crooked. It's okay, we're cutting these up anyway. These are all getting cut up for future projects. Very nice. So let's do the ghost print. And see, we see the other one upside down. Interesting. Now from the first ones, we have this selection. And I think definitely we will, my, my favorite is this one actually, the very first one with that it just has the white in the background peeking out. Um, I like the predominance of the type. Since a lot of my work has type, um, I'm thinking that I can type up paragraphs that have a, a special message and I can print on top. And here's that full sheet. A little disappointed with that. I think I need to do some layering to make that better. And here's some of these. This was the first one without the type. Better with the type even if it's upside down, crooked, whatever. <laughs> this one I love because the other stencil was underneath. I'm gonna play with that more next time. And this one, uh, kind of a, a fail, except for as a ghost print underneath. So um, this was a fun play time. And um, I'm gonna do more of this, but you'll see me do some collages with this in the near future. Okay, so as you can see, this is kind of messy. I'm usually a very neat painter and I'm used to having paint all over my hands. And then I rubbed my face, but I think I'm okay. Um, so, and then of course it left paint all over my stencils, which is fine, it's gonna dry, it's acrylic, it's plastic. Um, same thing with this, I really love, the, the way this looks actually with the different um, shades of blues on here and even a little bit of other colors. Um, anyway, so this might actually be nice glued onto something um, as part of as part of the art. So um, this was a great investment going for the long uh, Cricut mat so that I can do bigger stencils. And um, I can make as many of these as I want, so I'm thinking I'll make uh, two of them that can lay down side by side. That way I fill up my entire um, 8 by 10 jelly plate. So um, also, if you're interested in the future, I can do a video on how I created the stencil with Procreate. And um, I used Illustrator to create the SVG, but I'll investigate some other like free online tool that you could use to do the same. It's best to use SVGs to upload to the Cricut Design Space. So thanks for stopping by today and um, if you like these types of videos please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and if there's anything you want me to experiment with in the future just let me know. Leave a comment below. Take care. See you next time. Bye bye.